Do you need help with your Japanese studies, with your business, or just want to have better luck in the new year? Today we will be visiting the seven lucky gods and we'll ask them to help us with all of that in only under four hours. Our 3.7 kilometers pilgrimage starts at the Shirokane Takanagawa station and ends at Yusenji. During our walk, we will be visiting six temples and asking favors to the seven lucky gods. Today we are doing such a pilgrimage with the wonderful group of people from MIFA, the Meguro International Friendship Association. We arrived to meet our group by using one of the public bikes and started our walk to Kakurinji, where the god of warriors, priests and doctors is located. The name of this god is Bishamonten and he is of Hinduism origin and when he was brought from India, the Japanese made him the guardian of the Buddhist faith. The treasures Bishamonten offers are honor, respect and happiness. He is the protector against all evil. Sickness is also considered an evil and he protects against it. For this reason, he is a favorite among healthcare workers and we are here to ask him to keep us healthy. We are seeing here how to properly pray at a temple. First bow, then you wake up the god ringing the bell, you toss the coin, you clap your hands twice and then you bow twice respectfully. Pilgrimages honoring the seven lucky gods have been a popular way of assuring good luck in the new year. In Tokyo alone, there are 24 routes and the oldest one is the one we are doing today through the Meguro district. We are now going to Sui Shoji Temple, located just 600 meters from where we are. Sui Shoji was founded in 1670 and the current building dates back to the early 19th century. The lucky god here is Hotei the patron god of cooks, children, understanding, health and prosperity. I will be asking him to allow me to continue enjoying delicious food and to be happy. Jote is a happy god, always smiling. He carries a bag filled with treasures and will gladly bestow abundance to all who honor him. He was a Zen monk who lived over a thousand years ago. He was an excellent speaker. He was a fortune teller and everything that he said came true. This temple has a beautiful water feature that creates a perfect reflection of the temple. This temple is unique because the ornate architecture contrasts with the simplicity of the Zen garden. You can see a large black statue of Hote through the temple door on the far right. Now we start our 700 meter walk to Mioenji. This temple houses two gods. Jurojin is the god of longevity and wisdom. Jurojin also has a reputation as a heavy drinker and a womanizer. He just loves a party with a lot of alcohol and plenty of beautiful women. Because he is a god, he has the ability to perfectly sober in the morning, no matter how much he had to drink the night before. That is really a great superpower. Fukuro Kuju's name literally means fortune, happiness, and longevity. Fukuro Kuju is the only god among the seven lucky gods that has the power to revive the dead. Mioenji is a small place, therefore it is a quick stop before heading to Daienji, which is only 900 meters walk from where we are. If you are coming by train, this temple is very close to the Meguro station. Dai Enji was founded in 1624 and allegedly was the flashpoint of the 1772 Great Gyonin Saka Fire. This temple is home of Dai Koku, the god of wealth, farmers and the kitchen. Dai Koku also has the reputation of chasing away demons. For this task, he used a branch from a sacred tree in his garden. In this temple, you will also find Find status of all seven lucky gods, several other figures, and inside the temple, a life size Buddha. Just in front of the temple, there is a statue of a seated Buddha with an interesting function, which is relieving all your pains. So, next, we're going to Benten, we're going to Ban Yuji Temple, where the deity of music and fine arts, Benten, resides. Benten is most often seen carrying a musical instrument called biwa. She came from India originally. 
and her name meant flowing water. Her messenger is the snake or the dragon. And Ban Luigi literally means the temple of the sheltered dragon. And her trines are usually surrounded by water. Sure enough, here, Benten's shrine is encircled by a pond to the right of the main temple. This temple dated back to 1646 and it is a beautiful garden to enjoy during a nice weather day. <coughs> we just were in the temple of the goddess of art and Japanese is an art, so we prayed a lot. <laughs> we prayed for our, our Japanese to be pera pera. Pera pera Japanese. We are now going to Ryusenji Temple, our last stop during this wonderful walk through the streets of Meguro. So we're arriving to Ryusenji. Ryusenji. This is the uh, this is where the goddess of commerce, fishermen, and good fortune resides. And his name is Ebisu. So if you've Ebisu. been to Tokyo, you may have seen Ebisu Station. So this is that Ebisu. Ebisu is the god of wealth and good fortune. Ebisu loves to fish and it is said that Ebisu went fishing every chance he had. To keep Ebisu happy, merchants have a special sale in his honor once a year. It is important to clarify that where Ebisu is located is a Shinto shrine located just in front of Ryusenji, which is the temple that we are entering. Ryusenji was founded in 808, making it the oldest spot of this walk by several centuries. Yusenji got his name from a statue of a Buddhist god called Fudo and this statue happens to have black eyes. In Japanese, eyes is me and black is kuro, so together is Meguro. That's why this temple is also known as Meguro Fudo and from the temple, the Meguro city gets its name, Meguro. The temple grounds are also beautiful and serene and the location is only 20 minute walk from the Meguro station or a slightly shorter walk from the Meguro Fudomae station. Also there are no tall buildings towering over the temple which is uh, very rare in Tokyo. Overall this is a fantastic activity that provides exercise, cultural insights and the opportunity to meet new people. Also you can visit these temples at any time during the year. I hope you have enjoyed.